much. Welcome to your weekly forecast for February 9th until 16th. And let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Hmm. Changes. Ooh. Looks like you're being betrayed by a uh, water sign. Somebody who have left you or walked away from you. Well, you're kind of happy because you are reconnecting with the, you know, with each other. And you're wishing for some silver linings. <laughs> What's going to come out from this? But then, right before you know it, this person is walking away from me again. Now, you're too. You have choices. You're choosing between water sign and an air sign. Alright. Alright. Now, changes are going to come. But it seems like this change will be... Come in the form of betrayal. Okay? And it's either you're the one who's walking away from someone, or someone is walking away from you. You're currently happy because you heard from a person from the past, or you are you just reconnected with somebody from the past, somebody that you've been wishing to reconnect with, talk to, or you know get in touch with. It seems like this person have reached out to you recently, and you're very happy. Now you're thinking of leaving or walking away, and um, it seems like you're already in the last leg of your plans. And you're just about to embark on your journey. But then, right before you know it, when you open the door, you're going to be facing a storm. Now, you're waiting for a, uh, like a news that is related to a property or related to a move. Okay, you want to relocate and you're waiting for the right, um, you know, right moment to come or right opportunity or right news from somebody. And you are going to try to woo this water sign again who had already cut you off or who have already like um walked away from you but right before you know it this person will be pushing you away again you know the last communications or the last um you know the last thing that the two of you will be having and doing is about the final goodbye okay so again there will be a sudden change of you know, scenario, and there will be a change, sudden change of energy, and you're going to be feeling a little bit melancholic, but for you, it's like, eh, you know, whatever happens, I'm going to move on with my life, and so what? You know, you know, you don't want to be with me? Fine. It's not my loss. But you know what? Even if you're going to be acting like this, you will be, you know, emotionally affected. Whatever happens, whatever you do, whatever you say. And he will feel somehow stuck with somebody that you feel like you've been lying you know, for quite some time already, either s since October or for the past 10 weeks or 10 months already. All right. And I feel like it's not really this, uh, you know, it's not actually the case, but um, I feel like it's time for you to be true to yourself, whatever it is that you really want. Because within the next th three weeks or three months, you will be facing a uh, like an upheaval or you'll be facing a um like a clashing or i feel like this will be in the month of march you know or like a a turning point where you need to make a decision in whatever it is that you need to do in your life is it time to you know is it time for a change or is it time to stay wherever you are and whatever it is that you're doing and you will get stuck you know if you're not going to do anything about it. And uh, if you really want to have somebody in your life, you know, to be true to you, don't lie and don't pretend or don't use people. Now, this move that you're thinking, you feel like this is what you really need to, to have your own new beginnings. But then, as you know, like what I said, you're not yet prepared for this. You're not yet up for this. And you are not yet, you know, ready for this. So, you thought that you can, uh, you can carry on with this water sign. But somehow, the problem here is, 
the water sign keeps on changing their minds and sometimes they're up but most of the times they're down and they are dragging you down with their dramas you've already dealt with this in the past and you've uh, you will still be dealing with this for the next few more weeks months or even years if the two of, if the two of you will be reconnecting or rec reconciling again and you've already gone through the same thing in the past now what is it that you need to learn from this situation why the two of you cannot really let go of each other you're both afraid of making your own brand new beginnings but both of you are suffocating each other and you don't actually know where to place yourself or how to you know move forward the other person just needs you for their own, you know, for their own benefits or for their own advantage. While you really need this person for some of the things that, you know, that will help you. Because right now you're feeling a little bit, uh, what do you call this, um, um, handicapped, okay? You feel like this person has been your crutch for how many years and when you suddenly make the decision out of a blindsided um, truth or... Um, you know decision all of a sudden your life have changed and now you're trying to make up for it now you're trying to reverse your decision but you know what's done is done and things happen for a reason so all you need right now is just face the future face whatever you have right now and keep on moving forward now let's take a look at your oracle cards you've been you know you've been going back and forth back and forth with this water sign for how many months already and it's time for you to open up your eyes you know but what, whatever that's meant to be well you know it will stick together and if you're already with somebody but you're still having some second thoughts and still keep on thinking somebody outside of your relationship then you're in for a karma either in the month of march within the next three days three weeks or three months go the distance Yin, fork in the road, milk and honey, change in the wind, the tribe. Now, if you really want to go far in your life, you need to discard some of those, um, you know, old baggages, you know, that you've been carrying for how many years and for how many months or days or weeks, okay? If you want to have a lighter load or a lighter journey for you to reach at the top, you need to discard some of those unwanted thinkings, behaviors, patterns, attitudes as well. And uh, some of the things that's been like uh, dragging you down or, you know, um, creating an anchor and uh, making you feel stuck in a situation. And you're standing at a crossroads. So I've said that you're trying to make a decision whether you should still make it up with this water sign or if you should just move on with your life. Now, milk and honey, this is all about work. You're thinking about money, finances, work, your life, and even, you know, what's going to happen to you in the future. There will be a change in the wind, but then you also need to reconsider your family. So you are being torn apart. But whatever happens, you are blessed. You just need to stay strong, have some faith and learn how to be thankful and appreciate your surroundings and whatever that is being given to you all right so anyway that's it for you for this week and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video calls you may go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net it's now available because we are right now um testing a new software okay so please be a part of it and you may also download our app which which is you can find the description or the link below okay the description box so anyway have a blessed weekend and blessings to you